Sorry everybody, my computer just decided to uh, crap the bed all of a sudden. I do not know why. I'm uh, in the process of trying to get my chat back up and uh, get everything back to streaming the way it should be. Uh, sorry about that again. The computer just completely shut down, which uh, doesn't usually happen for me very often. So, all right, where was I? I need some new gloves. I had to take those off to uh, be clickety clacking on my keyboard since they did have magic sculpt all over them. And uh, please bear with me as my chat connects. I hope everybody has stuck stuck around um, so that you can continue to see me uh, work on this, uh, this sculpture and hopefully uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, sorry I missed you guys. These uh, tell Tito it's time to shine. Excellent. This movie freaked me out too. It's like everything went dark and then I felt like I went into a different dimension for a second. All right. It's much harder to get these medium-sized gloves back on my hands once they're all nice and sweaty. But, um, the, uh, there we go. The large ones just leave too much, uh, extra, uh, nitrile in them, too much glove, and doesn't allow me to smooth things down as well as, as they should be. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens, and... Wow, super delay on the spinner. All right. I'm going to get back to adding some some of the magic sculpt to this this back, this rear left leg. I start putting some muscle onto it. Basically just taking that ball of magic sculpt and just mashing it down. I don't know. I don't know. Wilson is Tito okay? Gonna keep working this down, trying to build up the muscle, try and make it look like the other leg. And then I will, once this uh, ball of, uh, of clay is down, I'm gonna take, pick it up again, take a look, see how things are looking compared to the other one. See if they're looking slightly uniform. They don't have to look exactly the same but just make sure they look like they're from the same creature make sure the anatomy is looking good enough that uh that they look like they belong together spinning around so that i can make sure i get this back side of the leg a little bit just what you need and then work it in lay down the base shape final so will probably be like mm, maybe six to eight pounds. The magic sculpt's not very heavy at all, and the uh, the styrofoam underneath just makes it makes it extra light. The pieces that get heavier are when I mount them to uh, excuse me when I mount them to like hardwood to when I make a plaque. I am using code names. Sorry, um, Recycling Bush. I just, uh, I, ga I gave him a nickname, or her, a nickname. Watch out, you're next not Jeffro. All right, this one's starting to take form. And kind of look from the back and see that the shapes are starting to come together how i'd like them although i might need to bring the muscle down a bit it's a little bulbous at the top and might need to work it down just a little bit did you go uh Hmm. Let me think of a good one for you. 
because you deserve a great one. Uh, not Jeffro, did you go to uh, the music festival? The music festival uh, over the weekend that the Jordan went to. That the uh, the recycling bush did not like the idea of. Excellent. Jeff, or not Jeff, are you about to give Carrie a nickname? <laughs> oh, definitely not from recycling. Not, not, from, not from Grandpa. See, not recycling bush has many nicknames. When, uh, when our friend came over to help install the lights, for this video shoot, our two and a half year old daughter, um, uh, when when we said that he he uh, he was kind of, well, he was leaving or he had left or something, she was like, "Your daddy?" as though he was my as though he was her grandfather or my dad. All right, I'm gonna that knee is looking a lot beefier than the other one. Might have to slim that down a bit. So I'm just continuing to put the magic sculpt around the shape. <laughs> yep. I can understand you being broken from that. is starting to come together. It'll formulate even better in just a moment. I like how that leg's looking, but that knee is definitely way too big. Oh, no. Let's see. Let me get it to where you can see it. So the knee on the one coming forward is way bigger than the knee on the other one. So now that I see them together, I'm going to spray this one down a little bit more, then I'm going to carve away some of it. I really prefer to work by as additive sculpting. Like, I like adding to it. I don't usually like taken away, um, but doing a little bit here and there is not a big deal. Let's see. Put my cutter back. Nope, here it is. I'm going to take just a little bit off of each side. And then a little bit off of here. Just scrape some of it away. And then I'll smooth it all back down. Throw that back into the pile that I'm still going to work with. Get it nice and wet and then keep reworking it. Ah, damn you, monitor. Do not do it again. I tried different HDMI cables, and I think it's just the HDMI port on the back of... The two different HDMI ports on the back of this monitor are just kind of shot. Which I don't really want to get another monitor, but I guess I probably should sometime. All right. That knee is looking much more like the other one. good with the overall shapes of those legs. Turn out, ooh, maybe not. Now that I'm seeing this on the side, I'm going to smooth that down a little bit more. Let's see if I can spin him, look at him from another perspective. All right, I'm going to add some more water and just keep smoothing it a little bit. See if it'll get to the shape where I, I want it. It's just a little lumpy there is okay in a lot of spots, but shins just generally aren't super lumpy. Alright. 
going to be good for now. I may go back in and add more to it later, but part of that will be once I can see how the feet start to shape up, once the forearms start to shape up. Um, I'm going to take... I'll save the, save the feet for after the legs dry. Now I think I'll go in and start working on the forearms. I think you're right. I think you are totally right. I think I need to. Uh, I'm gonna start working on the forearms a little bit, and basically just start putting down a little bit of clay on each side of the arm. Same thing I did for the back, the 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 back legs. Bush hacked. Bushwhacked? No. There goes the monitor again, and we're back. At least it's not making that uh, poltergeist noise. My sweet, sweet music. Alright. That is all of that batch of Magic Sculpt that I've, uh, I've got right now. I'm going to mix up another batch and then keep on working on that. So, so far I've done one smaller fistful and one regular fistful size uh, for the sculpting so far this evening. It's uh, definitely starting to take good, sh good shape. Worked on the head so far. Um, Start on blocking out the legs and going to continue blocking out the the arms. Cool. Get my big big bucket of resin. Since it's a uh, eleven ten, I'll do a smaller fistful now. So I'll probably only I'll probably keep it streaming just for another twenty minutes or so, um, just so that I can. Uh, go to bed in a decent hour and get up in the morning and do a little, uh, do my Inktober sketch and then uh, get the kids off, get Wyatt off to school and Ruby ready for her day. Cool. Grab an equal amount of the, uh, of the hardening agent. Forgot I had, I'd scrape the bottom of my last bucket and threw that in here. I'd like to try and make sure I use the older stuff first, just because it dries out a little bit, makes it a little tougher to work with. All right, mix these two up again. I think after this one, um, I'm gonna get to do another. I'm gonna do another mounted head taxidermy piece. So I've been doing a lot more freestanding pieces. I'd like to do something that looks like it could go on the trophy room of some uh, interdimensional hunter. Cooler time. there it is. And just keep working this down together until it becomes one consistent color. Uh, today I got an awesome shipment of paints in from Reaper Mini. Um, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with Reaper Mini, they make a lot of uh, uh, plastic based miniatures for gaming and I love their paints. They are freaking fantastic. And I reorganized all my paints on the wall so they're in the they're colored by rainbow so I can quickly look up and see all the blues that I have and all the reds. And uh, I'm excited to paint some some pieces soon with some of the new colors that I haven't used before. Their paint's going so thick and smooth. 
um, and they have so many of the, the names of their colors are fantastic as well. Um, Wednesday I'll be painting some stuff. I'll be painting some smaller magnets, maybe some resin poured sculptures, but it'll all be three-dimensional pieces. So if you want to tune in and check out how I paint my stuff, it's going to be a 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time slot, um, which I'm going to continue on that slot for now to make see if uh, see when different people are on, see who uh, I can get interested in watching uh, watching my stuff, and I may end up doing painting again next Saturday. It just depends on how things go because Saturday, next Saturday, I will be in the middle of a art festival. The festival will run from 10 to 5, then there's a dinner for the the artists involved, and then from 5.30 to 7.30 or something like that. So then I'll come home, hopefully see Carrie and the kids for a little bit, and then have to uh, then then jump into doing some, some artwork, whether it's sculpting or painting, depending on how things go. If I move a lot of small pieces, I may end up pouring things out of resin so that I can paint things and get things ready for Sunday. Just depends on how, how things move. Oh, I also forgot I've got to paint a handful of small pocket monster eyes that I recently did. Got to do those Wednesday as well. Or I've got to do some sometime soon. Maybe I'll throw in an extra stream if I can find some time to do some painting. So I'm just adding some more clay to these these front legs, these front arms. I think I may end up uh, doing a tattoo on the forearms of these, like uh, Russ had asked about earlier. I'm gonna go back over where I had some clay before, work this in and smooth it down into the, the previous clay. For real? Or are you just saying that? Yeah, are you making him to commit in a public space? <laughs> yeah, I know West West Georgia really uh really draws in the uh, the big city crowds. But we would love to have you, not Jeffro. We almost made it to Maker Fair this past weekend, but then there was so much traffic and accidents or something on Saturday. We had already been driving for, well, it was a little over an hour, maybe almost an hour and a half because um, we had to stop because Wyatt had to use the bathroom and then we had to stop for something else. And then we just, we looked at the GPS and because of all the traffic and the accidents and the construction, it was going to be a another hour to get there so we're like all right it's time for us to bail and turn around and go go back the way we came haha <laughs> there definitely will be carrie's going to be working working that hard she could even make some some extra i bet if we sweet talk her the snickerdoodles are by far my favorite of the cookies Carry snickerdoodles in particular. What would your favorite food be, not Jevro? Or anybody that's in the chat, for that matter. Gotta flip it. All right, I'm flipping this guy so that I can spray it, work in some of some of this clay a little bit more. I really just I want to make sure that all of the styrofoam is completely covered. There's a solid um, wrap wrap around it so that it it will uh, cure and set up and be a solid mass.
I've heard it was good, but we just couldn't make it. Did you have a good time in Europe? <laughs> I definitely won't. We'll keep that between the two of us. I forgot there were snickerdoodles at, at my birthday soiree. You feasted upon the snickerdoodles. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, to pick a favorite. And there's so many delicious foods and flavor um, profiles and influences of food. <coughs> Boom! Say goodbye, spray bottle. You don't need to push your favorite foods on other people. Oh, great. All right. This is definitely going to need a little bit more on it, but these arms and legs are definitely beefing up. Um, by adding this, this clay to the outside of the, the styrofoam form, um, it's the, it's really getting a much broader, um, uh, the, the appendages are getting much broader, so see how I'll, uh, I may have to adjust that a little bit, or build up, uh, the top a little bit, depending, so it doesn't just balloon out under, underneath. Now oh, that sucks. Gonna go and put some clay around the other arm now, and uh, in just a little bit, if I have enough, I'll start working on the adding details and reinforcing the fingers. <laughs> just thinking about the arms and the musk. Musculature on what would be on this creature. Elbows. And... So, let's see. I'm not able to see most of what I'm sculpting on right now, huh? Well, I'm working on this leg, just laying down base here. Let's see. No, maybe this will get it in there. Okay, dropping that camera a little bit so you can see this better. I think will be be much better. So I've laid down some flat magic sculpt there. I'm just gonna now that it's I've laid it in, I'm gonna work it in together. See where I need to add more to it. Just kind of block it in. Then I'll add to it from there. So I'm going to keep smoothing it down. So the texture of these, the arms and legs that I'm going to have, since they're going to be more human-like, humanoid-ish, um, they can end up being smooth since everything else is going to have so much texture to it. There's going to be the fur, the rock that's on the upper part of the body. Um, I don't need to add a ton of texture. I just want it to feel smooth and feel like it's um, like it belongs to the creature and it's not super wavy. Put a little bit under here so that I can blend that shape up a little bit more. I have to grab by the top. So I've really tonight so far worked in a lot of different areas of this creature. So it's soon it'll get to a point where it's going to be too many places that I can't touch because the clay is still soft that I'll have to stop sculpting on it for the evening.
go. Keep working that. Spin it around another way. All right. So now I'm going to put some more clay in on this the arm towards the top for the muscle, but I need to work it from the back because this is the easiest place to see it from here. Come on, water. There we go. Giving it a little squirt will definitely help smooth things and blend it in together. And really keep working that down. So this shape is starting to take better form. Try and keep this where, where you imagine a bone under the arm would be to be a nice smooth shape and line. All right. Spin it, take a look at it from this side. Actually, I need to turn it on its belly so I can see it. Yeah. So now I need to smooth this stuff in here, even smooth and blend it in. There we go. Get it so it doesn't look like there's two pieces of clay that are coming together. And smooth it down into the uh, into the shape of the the taxidermy form. Now this stuff once it's dry it can be sanded. So anything that still feels a little rough, I can always go back in with some sandpaper and smooth it down. Um, I tend not to do that, so might as well try and get it further along than I can, or then get it as close as, as I'd like it to be. Okay, I've got that part uh, to where it's in a decent spot. I'm going to just cover up this uh, bit of surface area for right now. Use up some of the clay that I've got. Spray it again. Just keep blending it in. Oh, popping some popping some fingers off. So like I said when I had this attached to the cutting board, it was not a very uh is a very strong bond that the magic sculpt took to the wood so I really had to pop it off I lost a couple of digits on the beast in the process but we will recover all that now we'll start to build that back up salvage it and once it's all once it's all done it will be sturdy as can be I'll go ahead and start working on these this pinky this sixth pinky or this extra pinky and whoops. I'm just gonna start shaping it I'm using that same tool that I've been using for pretty much everything just to start shaping the side start giving it more real finger like texture than before where it was just kind of a very thin, small shape to start getting the, the, the idea of a finger down. Now, because I'm getting closer to a finished size, I want to make sure I get it pretty close. I might even go ahead and put details in like fingernails and some of the finger, the knuckles and stuff like that, knowing that I may sculpt on top of it again but it'll at least start to give it that shape. Like here, I like to start putting a knuckle into place. Blend it in just a little bit. Work that in. Um, it's just a little bit sticking out that I'd want to snip off. There we go. I'll go ahead and, and do a couple more 
fingers on here and then come back in and do some detail work. Line that up. I'll put a knuckle up there. <laughs> I like to think so as well. Thank you guys for uh, for coming and joining in the hangout and in the, the chat while I sculpt tonight. Definitely makes it a lot more fun to have uh, friends in here hanging out. Even when my machine goes boom, sticking around is awesome. Don't have a whole lot more of this magic sculpt left after this uh, after this current batch is done, I'm going to call it quits for the night. I'm going to go a little bit longer than the uh, uh, 1130 plan, just so that I can use up, I'm going to be using up this magic sculpt anyway, so I might as well stick around. I'm just making these coils and going back over the base shapes of the fingers. It's another knuckle or two. There we go. All right. Get those on. Squirt. All right. Smooth those knuckles in. I'll get these two other fingers going and start shaping these a little bit. Because, yeah, that shape is terrible. Get some water in there and that'll... Yeah. So I'm just using this to start smoothing out the sides, start to turn it into a real finger-looking shape. And know that I don't want these to just feel like flat uh, coils that have been laid down. I'll have to build up on top of it a little bit for each of the knuckles to start to really give it more of a dimension like this. And And this got two more fingers to, to add on. It's not Jeffro suggested Saturday that I that it asked how many fingers when I knew that uh, there were enough fingers on it. So I added another one, and then I really knew it had enough. smooth these shapes down a little bit, make them more finger-like, more human finger-like, I should say. All right, get a couple more knuckles in, and then I'm going to put a little texture in, and then uh, I'm going to call it an evening. Sorry for the lack of talking and the no music. I will get the music going before the next time. I'll figure that out. And then I will also uh, 
uh, make sure that I'm a little more chatty. It's starting to wear down at the end of the night. More fingers! Yes, always more fingers, right? Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right, so since uh, there's only a handful of folks in here, I'm going to take one glove off. I will finish doing a little more sculpting, but I'm going to do a test. If you guys will let me know if you hear music when I, when I turn it on on my computer, that would be swell. Sorry for the elbow in the face. Where are you? There we are. All right. All right, can you hear music coming through? Gonna start adding some texture in here and the knuckles. So it's much more enjoyable for me to have some tunes on in the background. Okay, I think I, I want to, uh, I like, where I'm going to place where the fingernails are going to go. I think I'll end up going back in and adding fingernails on top of this space. So it feels, a, so it doesn't feel like it's just cut in. Carrie, you still with me? Ooh, this bottle is sticky from the from the magic sculpt. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear me now that I've turned the music on. So I guess maybe I should stop it. <laughs> oh, right on. Okay, so I guess it was just a super time delay. But you can also hear me as well, so that, that's okay. Um, going for all of the above. Uh, I, this is the type of stuff that I like, in, like listening to while I'm sculpting and painting. This is uh, Midnight Syndicate, who I met Ed of Midnight Syndicate at Gen Con this year. And then saw him again at Dragon Con and picked up a handful of his CDs. All right. I think that's all I've got in me tonight. I've got a little teeny piece of uh, magic sculpt that is just going to end up being a ball for now. And, uh, but I think that's all I can do. I'm ready for it to, to dry so I don't mess anything up. So in recap, let me fix this. So in recap, um, tonight we worked on the face of the creature. We worked on the legs, blocking in the shape of the legs, and the arms, blocking in the shape of the arms, and trying to get these uh, fingers going. So I'm gonna set this down and let everything start to set up and hopefully in the next couple of days, I will get back to uh, working on this. 
Does anybody have any questions before uh, before I part for the evening? Thank you, everyone, for uh, joining me on my quest tonight. I hope that you will tune in again next time for either my painting or the, uh, the next sculpting session. I'll uh, continue to sculpt this one out, and it's got a few more sessions, and then uh, once I'm done that, then I'll do a painting session on this one as well, and this one will probably take a couple painting uh, sessions too because it's a pretty, pretty big piece. So, all right. Well, uh, thanks, everybody. I hope everyone has a great night. And I will see you again soon.